How many of y'all want to retire when you're 60, 62, 65 years old, completely flat busted broke? Zero money. I know I don't want to, and I'm not going to because I have a path. You can have a path too. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I appreciate the support. I ask if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's see what we got. Guys, I'm going I'm to show y'all something here. Let's transition. This is my account. This is what we're working with so far. This is what I do every week. Put $500 into the market. You can do it too. You can do it too. All right. So I'm going to show you what. I mean, guys, here we are. We're on the calculator site. Compound interest calculator. We are going to, let's say you want to put 7000 per year. That's the max into your IRA. Roth IRA, traditional IRA. Uh, you do seven thousand a year. S and P five hundred has been uh, averaging eight to twelve percent. Let's just be conservative. Let's say eight percent. Right, you're thirty years old. You want to put seven thousand dollars a year into the S and P five hundred, and you want to retire when you're sixty two. So seven thousand starting off. Deposit seven thousand a year for thirty two years. There it is. Calculate when you retire at 62, you'll have $1 million in your Roth IRA. You pull that out, tax-free, guys. That's free money inside your Roth. Why do you want to stop there, though? So I personally make too much money to even have a Roth IRA. Now I can do that backdoor stuff, and I'm, I don't really, I'm not big on all that backdoor that traditional then swap over to backdoor Roth and all that stuff because I plan on pulling this out before I'm 60. So I just put it into my account, my Schwab account that I got here. Five five Hondos a week. That's what we're working with. I'm 42 years old now, but I plan on retiring after 55 but before 60. So I want to make sure I have plenty of money. I got I have a good 401k. I got a good pension at my job. Thankful for that. Not everybody does, and it sucks. I, I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about your company's pension or 401k, but what I can do is talk to you about investing your own money outside of the company and trying to make yourself uh, wealthy enough to retire one day. So let's go through my account here. Let's buy some, let's buy some stuff. At 500 bucks, what are we gonna buy today? Let's buy some Lowe's. Click on Lowe's. Come over here. Pull this bad boy up. Let's go through their financials real quick. Let's look at their five-year. Five-year chart. They're up 122% in five years, guys. 122%. 122%, guys. Let's go down here. Their dividend. Let's check out their dividend. Here's their chart right here. Shows their dividend. 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, and today. Let's see their financials. Look down right here. Payout ratio, 33%. That's good. You don't want that payout ratio too high. Um, Three-year growth, 21% on the dividend. They're, they're growing their dividend. Growing it. All right. So we are going to buy, how much is it? Oh, it, it's $231. Let's buy one today. Market. Dollar cost average. Guys, put your, put your money in every week. Dollar cost average. Whether you got 25 bucks or 100 bucks. The simple path to get in there is doing it every week. You got to do it. You got to be consistent. You got to put some money. $5, $10, $25, $100, whatever you got to do. Let's review this order. $231 place order. There it is. Order is placed. Positions. I don't, I'm not saying my path is better than yours or your path is better than mine. Some of y'all have a way better path than me and can afford to put more than $500 a week in. That's great. Some of you know how to day trade and buy options and all that stuff. I don't know how to do that. So right now, SCHD, here we come. Let's click on that bad boy. Let's go to their five-year. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, they're up 50% in five years. It's pretty good. Pretty good. What are they holding? Broadcom, Abvi, Merck, Amgen, Home Depot, Verizon. Let's go to their dividends. Show me more dividends, please. So here's our dividend. Going all the way back. Distribution. There it is. There it is. 3.57. All right, let's buy one. $78. $78. Let's 
Seventy-eight dollars, guys. Seventy-eight dollars. We're gonna dollar cost into the market every single week, whatever that is. We're gonna pick one up, pick another one up, guys. We gotta put the money in. If you don't put the money in, you're not gonna have it. It's gonna disappear. You're gonna nickel and dime yourself to death your whole life. You're gonna go to retire, and you're gonna rely on Social Security, which is minuscule. You won't have it. It's not gonna be there. Well, there'll be a little bit there, but not enough to live on. How much money, how much cash do I got left? I got two hundred nineteen dollars. Two hundred nineteen dollars. Two hundred nineteen dollars, guys, left for the week. What do we want to buy? This is, we gotta get something with some good dividends. Uh, I think I wanted to up my my Ford game. I got two hundred shares of Ford. It makes up three point seven three three point seven three percent of my account. It has a dividend yield of four point nine four. Twelve dollars and twenty cents. So I want to buy Ford this week. Yeah, let's pick up some more Ford. Do I want Coca Cola? Pepsi Co. I have two Pepsis. I have two Pepsis. We're going to make it a number three Pepsi. I'm going to pick up a third Pepsi. Let's go to the five year chart up 46% in five years. That's good. Let's look at the dividends. Because that's what we do on this channel. We buy stuff with dividends. So we got to discuss the dividends. Good dividends right there. There it is, guys. Look at that. These wonderful dividends every year every year it does have a payout ratio of 75 percent though which is kind of high but they've been growing their dividend every year growing it growing it growing it let's pick up let's pick up a pep 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 $169.94 market review it there it is place order got it all right, let's go do some more stuff. Let's go. How much? How much more? How much more money do we have left, guys? Forty nine dollars and twenty two cents for the week. Forty nine dollars twenty two cents for the week. What I can pick up for less than fifty bucks? I can pick up four Fords. Pick up four Ford stocks, or I can pick up QQQY. I'm down three dollars seventy cents on that. I didn't want to put too much more money in the QQQY or the TSLY because we were just doing a, a scientific uh, thing. I just put 500 bucks in it. I want to see what it would do. I'm not really big on trying to... Uh, QQY is 26% dividend yield, distribution yield. That's why I don't want to mess with it too much. And TSLY has a 53%. That's why I'm like, uh, I don't want... I just want to do that one little scientific test. See what it's about. VUG Vanguard Growth ETF is $339. I don't got money for that this week. All right, let's buy let's buy FLQL. It's $51. We'll pick one more of those up, guys. FLQL. FLQL. Let's look at that chart. I don't think it's been around. Yeah, July 2019. We're up 66%. 66% where are they holding Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA? Want some good stuff there. A little bit of dividend distribution, 1.46% dividend. Let's go back to the top. Let's pick up one of these. Let's buy one. 51.66. How long have I been on? I've been on for 10 minutes. Market. There it is. Review it. Perfect. Place order. Perfect. Close that down. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. I got this nifty little mic. Check this out. I'm talking to it like that right there. So let's go back over here to this screen. Let me move my camera. All right. So my plan, what I have, is I have $65,000 in there right now. And I do yearly $26,000. I do $500 a week, which is $26,000. Right? So calculate that. Oh, not 32 years. Dang it. I messed up. That's way too much. So I'm 42 years old now, 42, right? And in between 55 and 60. So I could go another 13 to 17 years before I start pulling money out. Let's say 15 years. 15 years, right? So if I go for 15 more years at 8%, compound, it's compounding growth, dividend got the drip turned on. That's not the actual dividend. It's not 8%. I'm not getting 8% dividend yield. 8% is the dividend, the growth of the stock, the compounding growth of reinvesting your dividends, buying more of the same stock. 
right? So let's say 8%, that's on the conservative side if it's the S&P 500. So I'm 42 years old now, 15 years from now, I'll have $1,689,000 in there. But I will have to pay tax on this because my brokerage account, it's not a tax advantage account. I deposited 780,000 interest and then dividends returned $844,000. Time way to return 230%. Over 15 years. God, I'm telling you, you need to invest in the S&P 500. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I do. Do something simple. If you don't have a clue what you're doing, just buy some simple stocks with a dividend, 2 or 3% dividend, maybe 4%. Buy the stocks. Don't pull the stocks out. Don't sell them. It, you know, just get S&P 500 if you, if you don't know what you're doing. Like SPY or SCHD or something like that. Pick up something simple. VOO even. That's what I got. I got a lot of money in VOO right here. As you can see, it makes up 28% of my account. But you can do SCHD, SPY. That's, that's S&P 500 stuff right there. FLQL, VUG, XY. That one's a high one though. XYOD. It, it's simple, guys. Just If you don't know what you're doing, just get some SP, or SP 500 stock or ETF. And just leave it. Just invest in it and leave it. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out for your mammy, your auntie and them. They're not going to pay you back. Don't let people borrow money out of this account. Because you're going to have to pay the taxes on it when you pull the money out. And then you know they ain't going to pay you back. Don't pull any money out of this account, guys. Keep it growing. Keep it growing. Let's say you want to do 10000 a year. That's all you got. That's all you can afford. 10000 a year. Right, so you're, how old are you? You're 25 years old and you're on a retire when you're 60, right? That's 25 and 35 years. Enter, you're 25, you want to retire when you're 60. It's 35 years of investing, $10,000, not half yearly, yearly. $10,000 a year. 35 years is $2 million in your account. Now, granted, you can't put 10000 to your Roth IRA if that's where you're putting it in, but you could put 7000 in your Roth and 3000 in a brokerage account. So you can, you know, work your whole life, spend it, go get that boat, that overpriced house, the oversized truck that you don't need, whatever you want to do. But this is what I'm doing. This is my path for me. This was going to pan out best for me. Not buying silly stuff. I bought silly stuff when I was younger. Wasting my money. Doing nonsense. You don't have to do that, guys. I'm telling you, you can learn from my mistakes of buying dumb stuff. Invest your money. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Give me, give me a thumbs up, guys. I'm sure you appreciate it. All right, well, I'm going to head out. I've been talking for 15 minutes, so I'm going to go and head out. Peace.